Fox 13, Scott McCain reporting there. A man in Hurricane died while trying to do the right thing. Police say 41-year-old Sean Moore was trying to escort another man out of Eagles Lodge for causing a commotion. While Moore's family grieves, his siblings talk to Fox 13 News reporter Chris Arnold about the void created by his death. He just easy to talk to whenever you needed him. You'd call him, you'd talk to him, and he was always there. This is Ryan Moore talking about his brother, Sean. With 10 siblings, Ryan says his brother was the middle child. He, uh, a really kind guy. Ryan and their oldest sister, Stephanie Todd, says Sean was the ultimate family man. Help anybody out. Loved, loved his, his girls, his daughters, and his wife. His girls were everything to him. Everything he did, everything he thought of, revolved around his girls. He also had a passion for music. Everything he did revolved around singing. Which is why his family says he was at the Eagles Lodge Friday night for karaoke. According to the Hurricane City Police Department, officers were dispatched to the Eagles Lodge around 11 p.m. Friday night for a possible shooting. When they arrived, they found Sean shot. He would later die at the scene. According to a probable cause statement, the suspect, 55-year-old Brian Hill, was acting belligerent and escalating in anger when Sean stepped in to escort Hill out of the business. Hill pulled out a gun, shooting and killing Sean just moments later. Hill left the scene and was arrested the following day. Sean's siblings say this still doesn't feel real. Anger, it's all over the spectrum on emotion. It's been a roller coaster. He was just trying. Sean was just trying to help out and make it a pleasant experience for everyone around him. I just wonder why the guy couldn't just take a breath. Just take a breath. Instead of doing what he did. Both Ryan and Stephanie say the support they've been offered is heartwarming. From the 12U Hurricane Hustle softball team that Sean helped coach to the entire Hurricane community. If there's anything we could take away from this is all the love and support that all of us have been shown through this. It embodies Sean. It completely embodies Sean and who he was. Big shoes to fill for the family with him gone. In Orem, Chris Arnold, Fox 13 News, Utah.